arms. Let's put my mat back a bit. Awesome that you're all here today and this cold morning, 10 degrees, second day of winter. I've been getting a bit of snow down at Perisha as well. Takes our bodies a bit longer to warm up when it's cold. And just give me your knees, lifting them up. And so put some shoulders into it while you're doing it. Some cactus arms, squeezing shoulder blades. Okay, let's take a deep, deep breath in. Bring your arms all the way up and fold forward. We'll do three of these. And on the last one, we're gonna hold it down there. Getting some movement into our lower back and our spine. Inhale all the way up. And then folding forward. And we're gonna stay down there like a rag doll. Let our head fall heavy. And our chest heavy. Bringing our hands to a folded position. And moving our elbows in a figure of eight. And moving our hips a little bit from side to side, whatever your lower back feels it needs. And then just let your arms hang down. Taking your feet out a little wider and bringing both hands to the right side and turn your right toes out. Nice stretch down the back of the right leg. And then walk your hands around to the left side, turn your left toe out and stretch down there. Taking a couple of deep breaths. And then we'll come to the middle, have your chest up and we're gonna go from side to side. So we straighten one leg and then the other. Getting a bit of warm up through our butt. Hi Jenny, welcome. Good job, everyone. That's it. Rightio, and coming up. Give your legs a little shake. Give your arms a shake. We'll bring our, our heel up to our bottom. Give our quads a stretch. And then we'll go to the other side. Good, give that a little stretch. Let's uh, go in, into a downward dog. Just give our back of our legs a little stretch. So coming down onto your mat, onto all fours, and then turning your toes under and pressing your hips up towards the sky and paddling your heels towards the ground. Just giving your calves and your Achilles and your feet a nice stretch. Also a nice stretch through the lower back upper back and arms, just going from side to side. And then take your feet out wide, walk your hands back to the feet. Just have a little forward bend stretch there with a wide leg. Just taking a couple of breaths here. And then coming up, we might give our shoulders a little stretch. So bring your Right arm across your body, left arm underneath it. Draw that across. Good. And then swap to the other side. So left arm across your body, right arm underneath and draw that left arm across to the right side. Just rolling your shoulders, little circles backwards and then forwards. And then taking your head to the left and the right, just getting some movement into your neck. And then looking up, chin to chest. And let's do some stretches for our, our wrists. So just bring your fingers back on both hands and then taking them forward. So forward and back. And then doing some nice circles just getting some movement into your wrists. And then we're gonna do the same with your feet. So this you can use as a bit of balancing as well. So 
can actually keep your hands going and start to turn one foot around in circles, lifting the foot off the ground, that's it. And then go back the other way. Multitasking, excellent work. And then go to the other side. It's nice to get some warmth into your joints when it's so cold. Go back the other way. Okay, just give them a little shake. Right, let's get started. So we're gonna start with skaters today. So I start the clock and the skaters are step behind, step behind, keeping your chest up nice and tall. Good. And then when you get in the groove, you can add some arms in as well. So if you go to cactus, arms squeezing your shoulder blades together. So this is a good one to warm up, upper and lower body. Just taking some nice deep breaths. Got all the Torval and Deans going. Good. Okay. Grab hold of a weight. We're going to do some squats with a press. So you might want a, about a three or a four kilo, something like that. Not too heavy, not too light. I've, I've got a four here. Okay. So getting ready. So keeping the weight nice and close to your chest, squatting down and pressing up. That's it. Keep it nice and close. Good. Keeping your chest up. Having your feet about hip width apart, toes pointing slightly out. Breathing in on the way down, breathing out on the way up. It's a good movement for your upper body and your lower body, bringing your core on, especially when you bring your arms up to support the lower back. Good work. Okay, next one we're gonna do is a deadlift. So if you've got two weights there, you can use the two. I'll just show you what we're gonna do. So I'll stand side on. So we're going to soften our knees, bring our hands down our legs to our shins, and then use our hips to thrust up and squeeze your butt. Okay, so gazing forward so you have your back nice and straight. We don't want any rounded backs. That's it. Good, so just keeping your eyes up. Breathing in on the way down, out on the way up. So it's a slow movement down and explosive from your glutes on the way up. Yep. We've got 10 seconds to go. So this is good to power on your glutes, the lower area there. Okay, next one we're gonna do is, I've got some lunges for you. If lunges aren't your thing, feel free to do either some squats or you can do some um, knee highs, stepping up. So if you're going to do lunges, have your feet a little bit wide apart so you like you're on a train track. You're going to step forward, come down to 90 degrees and step back. And then same on the other side, keeping your chest up. I'll just show you the side view. That's it. Using that foot behind, that leg behind to keep you nice and stable. Having your hips and chest both pointing nice and square in the forward direction. So this is stretching out through your hip flexors, but strengthening your quads. We've got five seconds to go. Good work. Okay, next one is biceps. So keep your hands, keep your weights in your hands. Nice soft knees, core on. Five seconds more rest. Just getting your breath back. Okay, 
Let's go. Bring it up. That's it, nice and strong. Breathe out as you're bringing them up and control them down. See muttons in the islands today. Make us all feel a bit warmer. Fifteen seconds to go, keeping it strong, finishing it off. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay. Next one we're going to do is a tricep push. Now, if you have a, a chair that you can put your foot on, just to give you a bit of stability, you can do that, or you can come down onto the floor like me. And what we're going to do is take our elbow to the sky and straighten our arm out. So it's for the tricep muscle. That's it. Nice and controlled. You don't need a lot of weight for this one because it's quite intense. So keep your elbow still and your hand comes underneath like a pendulum. As you lift it back, really give it a nice squeeze. Again, this one's another intense one. So you only need two or three kilos. I've got a three here. It's plenty. 10 seconds to go. Just trying to relax your shoulder. Good. Nice work. Okay, and then we're gonna to change to the other side. Rest. So get 20 seconds rest. Give your arm a little shake. Okay, five more seconds rest. Okay, so we've got our elbow to the sky, straightening out the arm. So the elbow stays quite still. It's called a tricep push. Just using your hand to steady you, your elbow or your forearm on the other side, just to steady you. Just relaxing your shoulders so they don't tense up. All the work here is in the back of your arm. So you've worked the front of the arm with the biceps and this is the back with the triceps. See it and keep it nice and strong. Three seconds to go. Good work. Okay, I'm just going to pause it for a sec while we give that a good stretch. So take your elbow to the sky, bring your other hand across, and just give that a good stretch. And then swap over to the other side. Good. Okay, loosen off your shoulders. Next one we're going to do is the cable row. So grab your stretchy bands, whatever you have. We've got 15 more seconds rest here. And then we're on to the cable rows. I've got mine set up here. So with this one, taking the cable in your hand, take your dominant foot back, chest up nice and tall. And pull back and keep your elbows close to your body. Squeeze between your shoulder blades. That's it. It's good to strengthen from your sh through your shoulders. Correcting some of the rounding that we get through using our phones and our PCs and driving. It's a really good stretch for everybody, this one. Strengthening up the shoulder muscles. It's where we tend to keep a lot of our stress in that area too. 10 seconds to go. Sit, give it all you've got. Good work. Okay, give that a little shake. Okay, next one we're gonna do is a single arm press. We're gonna do one arm at a time. So we're gonna go into position with your hands, um, one weight in one hand. The other hand you can just put on your front. Legs nice and wide apart. And we're gonna press the weight all the way up and bring it elbow only down to shoulder height. So again, you don't want too much weight here. Two or three kilos is 
enough for this one. That's it. So bring your core on nice and strong. Take the elbow back a little bit and you'll feel that it'll give you a little bit of a squeeze in the shoulder blades. That's it, keep it going. This one gets quite intense about now. We've got 15 seconds to go. Just keeping that elbow up high so you don't drop it down below your shoulder. That's it. Good job. Bring that arm down, give it a shake. And then next one will be the other side. Just give your shoulders a little shake. Okay, getting ready on the other side. So core on strong, soft knees. Okay, let's go all the way up. That's it. So this helps to, helps to keep us strong on both sides and even it out. Sometimes we're stronger on one side than the other. You might be noticing that now. So bring the elbow just down to the shoulder height and then back up again. Core on strong. Breathing in as you go down, breathing out as you take it up. Ten seconds to go. Finish it off. It's getting hard now. You've got it. Excellent work. Okay, give your uh, other arm a shake. Now the next one we're going to do is a push up. So you can either do that on the mat, on your knees or your toes, or you can do it against a chair or a table or a wall. So you choose whichever one is the right one for you. We're going for 45 seconds. Okay, if you're doing it on the mat on your knees, take your hands outside the mat and bring your chest down so it's about a fist or two off the mat. Nice straight line from your shoulders down to your back of your knees. Making sure your hips forward so you've got that nice straight line. Breathing in as you go down, breathing out as you press out. Nice strength through the pecs in the chest and through the arms. Core on strong as well. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take your knees wide and bring your bottom to your heels. Just give that nice stretch out through a child's pose. And the next one we're going to do is go onto our side. We're going to do a lateral leg raise. Okay. So nice and straight for your body with your hip forward and your foot flexed. You're up on your elbow. That's it. So if your hip's nice and forward, you shouldn't be able to lift more than about 50, 60 centimetres up. So if you're going higher than that, you need to shift your hip forward. Squeeze in your butt. Imagine you've got a hundred dollar note there that you don't want to drop. So squeeze it on. Ten seconds to go. Good. Excellent work. Now we're going to shift to the other side. So again, nice straight body. You're up on your elbow. Hip forward, foot flexed. We've got another five or six seconds rest. Okay, let's go. Good work. So squeeze in the butt. Flexing that foot. And deep breathing. Good work. Second side is a little bit more intense, I'm finding. So just keep it on. Keep it strong. You've got 15 more seconds. You can do it. Good work. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. 
The next one we're going to do is flutter kicks. So going down onto your back now, placing your hands underneath your hips. So you've got a nice flat back. And we're going to start with our legs in the air and flutter them with a straight leg. If this is bothering your lower back at all, don't push through, just hug your knees to your chest and give your lower back a nice stretch. If you're finding the upright is easy for you, pushing your back into the ground, you can drop your legs down a little lower, you'll find it's a bit harder. So this is working mostly lower abs, a little bit of legs as well. Steep breathing. So you might want to come down and then come back up again. Just move it around. Good work. And then hug your knees into your chest. Roll your body in the lumbar spine. Just give that a little bit of care. And then we're going to flip on to our front into a plank position. And we're going to do some shoulder taps. So you can either do plank on your toes or your knees. And you're going to be tapping one shoulder, then the other. Okay, let's go. If you take your legs a little wider, take your knees wider or your feet wider, helps you stabilize. Just tapping from side to side, keeping your body nice and stable. Deep breathing. Halfway through, you can drop down to your knees if you want. We've got eight seconds to go. Good job. Okay, into, into child's pose. Excellent work, everyone. So that's one cycle finished. You've got 20 seconds to have a quick drink and then we'll do the second one. Radio, let's go back on skaters. Step behind. We're on it today. Chest up nice and tall. And when you've got the groove, use your arms as well. Fifteen seconds to go. Keeping your chest up nice and tall, squeezing your shoulder blades. Nice work, everyone. Okay, squats are next with a weight, so grab your weight for it. Three or four will be enough. Okay, five seconds more rest. So feet nice and wide here, shoulders and hips facing forward. We're going to squat down and press up. So as you squat, inhale, as you press up, exhale. Keeping your chest up nice and tall and pressing through your heels as you come up. Ten seconds to go. Good work. Okay, grab your other weight that you've got and we're going to do deadlifts next. So it's good to have a bit more weight for the deadlifts. So just showing that, that one again. So gazing forward, you're going to slide the weights down your legs and then Bring your hips forward, squeeze your butt as you come up. Nice flat back on this one. So you will notice it down the back of your legs and also in your glutes. Getting them nice and strong, 
the groups are the powerhouse. Not everybody switches them on and uses them. So these are really good to, to do to really fire up your glutes. So you're inhaling as you go down, exhaling as you come up. That's it, making sure you don't round your back out. Nice and slow, do it with your breath. So it's a slow down and then come up. Good job. Okay, keep the weight in your hands. We're gonna do lunges next. Or if you're not doing lunges, you can do some knees up or some more squats. Okay, so we're gonna go alternate sides, chest up nice and tall, nice and square to your hips. Down, step back, and then go to the other side. Imagine your feet are on train tracks, so they're wide enough apart to give you a bit more stability. That's it. Good work. You don't have to have weights on this one. Just use your hands if you like, just without weight, body weight. So breathing in as you go down, breathing out as you come back up. Just nice and slow, nice and controlled movement. Good work. Okay, give your legs a little shake. Biceps are next. We're rapid fire today. Got to keep warm. Five seconds to go. Radio. Let's go. Biceps. Nice work. Bring them up nice and strong. Breathing in. Control them down and up strong. Keeping your chest up and your core on. Soft knees. So I think we're on week eight now, doing the Zoom. So everyone's going really well. Everyone's feeling very strong. I'm hearing from many of you that you feel like you're very strong at the moment, which is good because you're doing two boot camps a week, plus the yoga is helping as well. Okay, next one, drop your hand weights down and pick up maybe a lighter one if you have it. We're gonna do triceps. So coming into position, either leaning against a table or a chair, or you can come down onto the ground like me. Okay, so we're going to take our elbow to the sky and straighten out our arm, working the back muscle of the arm, the tricep. Good work. Breathe out as you squeeze it up into a straight position. So elbow stays up tall and your hands coming under like a pendulum. Good work, 15 seconds to go. Just press it out. Five seconds. Good work. Okay, swap around to the other side. Ten seconds more rest. Okay, let's go. So elbow up and then bring the arm into a straight position. So your hand comes under like a pendulum, keeping the elbow up high. Elbow doesn't really move much. So relax the tension in your shoulders. Five seconds to go. Good work. Okay, drop your weight down. Next one is cable row. 15 seconds. 
getting into position for your cable. So chest up nice and tall with your dominant foot back. Good job. Okay, let's squeeze elbows close to the body and squeeze in between the shoulder blades. Gaze up and chest up. Deep breathing. 15 seconds to go. Let's finish it off. Good work. Okay, let's give your shoulders a little stretch. Okay, pick up your weights again. And we're going to do the single arm press. So you really only need one weight in your hand. We're going to do one at a time. So coming into this position. Okay, so taking that hand up to the sky, bringing the elbow down in line with your shoulder. Nice and strong through the core, soft knees, legs apart. Good work. Breathe out as you push up. Let's see it nice and strong. Anything single arm or single leg is usually quite intense. 10 seconds to go, you can do it. Try to keep it strong. Try to keep the elbow up. Good work. Okay, give that a little rest. And then we've got 20 seconds rest and we're on the other side. Let's give it a little shake. Five seconds to go, then we're on the other side. Right here, let's go. It. So, taking it only down to shoulder level, straight back up. That's it. Nice job. I can see Julianne and Penny all going down just to shoulder level. It's awesome. Same with Deb and Jenny. That's it. Good. Gilda, good. Can't quite see Martins. All good. Let's keep it going. 10 seconds to go. It's getting painful now. Just keep it up. You got it. Well done. Okay, bring it down. Next one is a push-up. So again, against a chair or a table or a wall, you can come down onto your toes or your knees. I'm going to choose knees. So if you're on knees, have your hands outside the mat. Nice straight line from your shoulders to your knees. So you haven't you've got your hip tucked in forward. Tips in your butt forward, just like you would if you're in a plank position. See, deep breathing as you push up, keeping it nice and strong. Keep it going. 10 seconds to go. Getting quite strong. We've done a lot of upper body. Good work. And then rest back into child's pose. Give your, give your arms a nice stretch out. Okay. Next one is a lateral leg raise. So grab the weight you want to use for that. And coming down onto your side. Nice straight body, foot flexed and elbow underneath your armpit. That's it. Remembering to keep your hip forward, squeeze your butt. Don't drop that $100 note.
15 seconds to go. Nice and stable through that lower core area by squeezing your butt. Five, four, three, two, one. Go to the other side. So nice straight body. Hit forward, foot flexed. Pop the weight on your leg if you're using a weight. Five seconds more rest. Okay, let's go. So hip forward. Work. Squeezing your butt so you're nice and stable. Helps you to keep the hip forward too. Twenty seconds to go. Keep it strong. It's getting quite intense. Last ten seconds. Squeeze it up. Nice. Okay. Come on to your back. Hug your knees up to your chest. Just get that nice stretch out. Just roll a little bit on your lumbar spine. Next one we're going to do is a flutter kicks. So placing your hands underneath your lower back. Nice flat back on the ground. Legs out straight and flutter away. Strengthening through your lower abs here. If you want to go a little bit harder, drop your feet down towards the ground a little bit. If it's already hard enough, keep going. Good work. 15 seconds to go. Noticing that strength and core required. Good work. Okay, hug your knees up. Okay, we're going to go on to our front again. We're going to do the shoulder taps. So going into a plank position. You can be on your toes or your knees, whichever works. Take them out wide, whatever it is, toes or knees. Coming up into plank and just taking a tap on each shoulder. Stabilizing through your body. This one's working deep abdominals, a little bit of shoulders. So keep it strong. 15 seconds to go. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work. I think that's that's everything for the second set. Have a little pause here and take a drink. Okay, I'll just take you off mute. And what we'll do for our last one, you can tell me which ones you want to take out. So you can each choose one. It's okay to double up. I'll try and unmute you all or you unmute yourself. <clears throat> yeah, most of you have to unmute yourself. Oh. Okay, how are you feeling? Good. Dead. Dead. Good. No, fine, nice and warm. Yeah, yeah, it keeps you warm, doesn't it? I'm very okay. tired today. Ah, I see. I'm still recovering from Sunday. <laughs> what was Sunday? Oh, yeah. 10 kilometers in the Hazelbrook. Oh. <laughs> in okay. the mountains. My first walk. Oh, wonderful. Radio. Okay. Tilda? Tilda, which one? Yeah. The last one. one? one? The, the oh, you take short steps? Yeah. No, okay. no, the other one. The flat, the flat. Oh, flattering. Oh, yeah, okay. 
I can't right. do it. <laughs> what about you, Jenny? Which one take do you want to um, take out? Shoulder taps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Who else has won shoulder taps? Me. I don't like shoulder taps. Penny shoulder taps as well. Okay. What about you, Julianne? Um, it was the leg flutter because I keep getting a cramp in one of my feet. Okay. <laughs> so you vote for leg flutter. Good. What about Elsa? What do you want to take out? I, I don't know what you call it. The one. Oh we yes. The arms, the single arm press. Yeah. And um, Martin, which one are you? Uh, the side leg one. Oh, lateral leg raises. Okay. okay. Radio, Gilda, which one for you? I said it. The, the three legs. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot. But if you and like Deb, it, you can pick something else. No, no, no. no. <laughs> what about Deb? Which one do you want to take out? Um, I'm with Martin. That side, side one. The lateral. Side uh, lateral leg raises. Okay, good. All right. We're on. So we've got one more set to go. Grab yourself a quick drink and then we'll get stuck into it. I'll just mute you all. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to start with skaters. Make sure you haven't got anything in the road so you're going to trip over it like I did. Stopping session. Starting session. Okay. You ready? Okay. So step behind, step behind. Chest up nice and tall. Good. And then bring in your arms as well. See it, chest up. Keeping your chest facing forward. Try to keep your hips facing forward as well. Good for strengthening through the quads here. It's a good one for cross country skiing. 10 seconds to go. Good work. Okay, grab your weight for your squats with a press. So three or four kilos would be enough for this. Got five more seconds rest. Feet nice and wide apart. Hips and shoulders facing forward. Bring the weight to your chest. And keep your chest up as you do it. Breathing in as you go down, breathing out as you come up. Good work, everyone. Keep the weight on your heels. Nice, big, deep breaths. Core on strong to protect your back when you've got your arms up above your head. This one, if you have any shoulder issues or any blood pressure issues, probably best not to do the press. You can just do the squat with the weight at your chest. Eight seconds to go. Good work. Okay. So pick up the other weight that you have there and we're going to do deadlifts next. So you need a bit more weight for a deadlift because you're using your leg muscles and they're pretty strong. So I'm going to go side on so you can see. So having your gaze forward, so you've got a nice straight back, slide the weights down your legs to your shins, use your butt, squeeze and push forward. So you're slow on the way down and then a bit more explosive coming up and gazing forward to keep your back straight rather than arched. You don't want any arches. That's it, yeah, so keep your gaze forward. Don't look at the ground, look in front of you. Five seconds to go. Good. Okay, give your legs a little shake. Next one's lunges, or if you don't want to do lunges, you can do knees up or some more squats. We're going alternate legs. So starting with our feet, hip width apart. Okay, so we're gonna step forward, go down to a right angle, both knees come up, 
and step back, go to the other side. Same thing, keeping nice and square through your hips and shoulders, chest up. Good work. You're using that back foot to help you with your balance. Nice. Penny's choosing the squats, which is great. Protecting her knees. Good work. Give your legs a shake. And we're on for biceps next. So bringing the weights to the front. Soft knees. Okay, let's go. Breathe out as you come up. See it nice and strong. Fifteen seconds to go. Good work. Okay, pop your weights down. Get ready for triceps. You might want a slightly lighter weight. I'm going for a three rather than a four this time. Coming into position for your tricep. So either down on the ground like me, or you can have, you can be leaning up against a chair or a table. Okay, so elbow up. Good work. Pressing through that tricep muscle, keeping your elbow up towards the sky and bringing your hands and down like a pendulum, squeezing at the top. Try and relax your shoulders. All the work's been done in the back of your arm. Work and we swap sides. Okay, got 10 more seconds rest here. Just give that arm a little shake. Getting ready on the other side, elbow up, and moving that hand through like a pendulum, squeezing it at the top. Nice and controlled. Ten seconds to go. Good work. Okay, pop your weight down. Excellent job. They're not easy. Coming up into cable rows next. So grabbing your stretchy band, bringing your dominant foot back, hips and shoulders facing forward, gaze forward. And squeeze your elbows next to your body and squeezing through the shoulder blades. Breathing out as you squeeze. Keeping the tension nice and strong. Five seconds to go. Good 
Good work. Okay, the next one we're going to do is the push ups. So, coming into position for that. Hands on the outside of the mat if you're coming onto your knees. Okay. Nice straight line from your shoulders to your knees, tucking your hip forward. Keep it nice and strong. Breathing in as you go down and breathing out as you're coming up. Five seconds to go. You can finish it off nice and strong. Good. And then take it into child's pose. Give your shoulders a nice stretch. Okay. I think that's it now. We've got no abs. All the abs got taken out. I'll tell you what. I'll add one in. Coming to all fours. Let's do alternate leg and arm. So lifting up like that. So trying to keep your back nice and flat. Imagine you've got a glass of water on your back, lengthening out through the hands and the feet, pointing the toes towards the ground. Ten seconds to go. Give it a nice stretch out. Stopping session. Okay, great. Coming down to a seated position. If you can sit on your heels, that's great. If not, sit down onto the ground. Let's do some stretches and some movement through our shoulders. So when we're sitting in this position, this is actually stretching through our quads as well. You get a double whammy. Go the other way. Good. And then making sure you've got enough room around you. Take it into big circles. Yeah. Yeah, you can come up and stand on your knees if you want. Like Tilda is. And go the other way. Good. Okay. Now let's take our left hand across our body and use our right hand to move it across and squeeze through the left shoulder blade and then swap arms good give that a nice shake just taking your head from side to side and then looking up chin to chest Gently place a hand on the side of your head. Just drawing your ear towards your shoulder. Be very gentle that other side. This gives a nice stretch through the side of the neck. Okay, we might do a couple of lower back stretches. So coming down into that seated position and have your legs straight out in front of you breathing in lifting your arms up and breathing out as you bring your arms forward and staying in this forward fold position you can have your hands on your shins or if you can reach your toes you can grab them whichever works for you if this is a bit intense it's okay to bend your legs a little bit Just taking three more breaths so stretching through the back of your legs and also lower back and then bending the left leg up next to the right leg. Come up on your sit bones, nice and tall. And flexing that right foot, bring your body forward. Again, you can grab the toes if you can reach them or the shins. Taking a few breaths here. Noticing how this is opening up through the left hip. A little bit of glute as well. A little bit of lower back. 
and then go change legs so take your right foot next to your left leg come right up on your sit bones nice tall spine and then exhale as you bring your body down forward either grabbing your toes or your shins feeling that nice stretch through the right side in the lower back area a little bit of glute a little bit of ITB, a little bit of lower back here. Good. And then bring the left foot next to the right foot. Come up onto your sit bones, hands on your ankles. Bring your elbows slightly pressing against your knees so you get a little bit of a stretch through the groin area. And then take your legs out front again. Come up tall on your seat bones. And then breathing in and breathe out as you take it forward. You're probably fine. You've got a lot more flexibility this time. I know I am finding that. And stay here for three breaths. Each time you breathe out, try to squeeze a little bit more out of it. Good. And then come on to your back. We'll do a couple more lower back ones because I know a couple of you need the lower back work. So coming down onto your back, hug your knees to your chest and roll that in a circle on your lumbar spine and then take it back the other way. Drop your right foot to the ground and bend your left leg across the front of the right shin. As you exhale, bring that towards your chest, bring your leg towards your chest, hugging that up. So inhale as you bring it forward, exhale as you take it away. Good. And then drop the right foot on the ground, keeping your leg bent across the front. Left hand out to the side and draw the right, draw that left knee to the right side. But look into the left, cease. Falling over into a nice little deep stretch through the lower back and through the left side of your body. A little bit of glute as well here. Taking two more breaths. Each time you breathe out, relax into it a little more. Then inhale, bring your knees back to center. Swap your legs over. And this time hug your right knee into your chest as you exhale. Do a few of those. Nice big deep breaths. And then put the left leg on the ground. Take the left hand on the right knee. Draw the knee across to the left side, but look to the right. Let it come down towards the mat. And it's you, as you breathe, just relaxing into each stretch. Just let it, let it go that little bit deeper. We'll do three breaths here. Then inhale, take it back to center. Hug it up again. And we're coming back up into a seated position. And I think we're done. Good work, everybody. That was